Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill really challenge using Python programming language. Now let's see our question. The program must accept an R cross C matrix containing zeros and ones and exactly one x. Note that the program should modify the matrix as given below. The conditions are it should find the nearest ring with at least one zero in it. The next condition is then replace all the zeros in the nearest ring with one and finally we should print the matrix. Now the question must accept an R cross E matrix containing zeros and ones exactly with one X and modify the matrix as given below. Find the nearest ring with at least one zero in it. Then replace all the zeros in the nearest ring with one and finally we should print the matrix. They are also given another condition for this question. If there is no nearest ring then the program must print matrix as it is. Now let's apply this logic for our test cases. Here is our first test case. This is a matrix containing 5 rows and 6 columns. Five rows and six columns in this matrix, and here is the exactly one x in this matrix. And this x contains nearest two rings, which are given in blue and pink color. Now you have to check whether in the first ring containing any zeros or not. If it contains any zero, it should be replaced by one. So this is our final output. Now let's check for our second test case. This is a matrix containing 8 rows and 7 columns. And this is the matrix and here is that exactly 1x. And it contains nearest 2 rings which is given in blue and pink color. And in the first ring there is no 0 so we are jumping to the next ring. In the next ring we can find at least one zero so we are replacing the zeros by one so all the zeros in the second ring are replaced by one and here is the output now let's check for our another test case this is a matrix containing three rows and four columns and here the exactly 1x is placed here and there is no any nearest ring in this matrix. So the output is as it is the matrix. Now let's find the formula to calculate the number of nearest ring in exactly 1x. Here in this matrix there are two nearest ring. We have to iterate from this matrix and for the next matrix too.
Now the formula is min of r minus rho minus 1 comma rho comma call comma c minus call minus 1 which gives the number of nearest ring with exactly 1x in the matrix. Here the R is 2. And here also it is 2. And here also it is 2. And here it is 3. Now for this matrix, by applying this formula, we get number of nearest ring is 2. 1 and 2. Now, let's implement our logic in Python. You have to get the input R, C, which is number of rows and number of columns. Next, we are going to get the matrix as a character matrix because it contains a character X. Now, for finding the indexes of the character, we are going to use the for loop for row in range R for call in range C if matrix of row call equal to equal to X means we have to save the index R index equal to row and C index equal to call then break statement is not needed because it contains only one character X next we are going to find the number of rings min of R index comma R minus R index minus 1 comma here we are going to paste it and replace a R as C and capital R as capital C and C index minus 1 after finding the number of rings we are using a for loop for CTR in range 1 comma number of rings plus 1 we are going to iterate for the matrix in the rings let's have a variable called has 0 equal to 1 now for row in range r index minus CTR comma R index plus CTR plus 1 and for call in range C index minus CTR comma C index plus CTR plus 1 here these two for loops is nothing but for iterating the mat rings matrix now after these two for loop we are going to have a check if matrix of row call equal to equal to 0 then we have to change the has 0 to 0 then you have to change the matrix matrix of row call as 1 now after this for loop we are going to have a condition 
if as 0 equal to equal to 0 means we have to break this for loop. Now let us print the matrix for row in matrix print asterisk row. Let us execute our code with our test case. Here the inner ring of the x is replaced with 1. So in the first inner ring all the zeros are replaced by 1. Hence it is the output. Now let's check for our second test case. Pasting the second test case. Let's run our code. Here the inner ring of x contains all the element 1. So we are going to the next ring. So in the next ring all the zeros are replaced as 1 in the output. Here you can see all the inner rings are 1 here. Now let's check for our third test case. Running our code as there is no inner ring in this test case so the matrix is printed as it is. Hope you guys understand this code. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.